Micromax is trying to make a blast in mid-range smartphone category by sparking this spark. Hey what's up guys, this is Epic from Tech Punjabi and first of all sorry to all of you guys because I am not able to update my channel from last one and a half month because I am really busy in my personal life and today I am taking a look at Micromax Canvas Spark. Let's unbox it and take a look at smartphone and the other things too. Here is the Micromax Canvas Spark, let's put that out and that looks really impressive, build quality is quite good and feels premium in the hand and the back panel is also very grippy because of the matte finish. Here is the data testing and charging cable and the screen guard, not the tempered one, it's a, it's a simple screen guard and the charger and the other warranty documents too. And the earphones and the build quality of that earphones is looking really nice. Let's take a complete overlook at the canvas spa. On the top we have 3.5mm jack and at the bottom we have charging port with the microphone for voice call. Right. On the right we have all the button volume rockers and the power button. And at left hand side we have nothing. At back we have 8 megapixel camera with LED flash and the main speaker with Micromax logo and back panel is also very grippy and at the front we have 4.7 inch QHD display it is not an IPS or not covered with any Gorilla Glass protection display. and with 2 megapixel front facing camera. It has 1.3 GHz quad core processor with 1 GB of RAM and which is coupled with Mali 400 GPU. It runs on Lollipop 5.0 and the, which is the nearly the latest operating system by Android and that smartphone can handle nearly all the basic apps and games but heavy multitasking and the high graphic games can make that phone some laggy and all in all that smartphone is really good because entry to benchmark score on that smartphone is 90,989 which is quite good at that price point. At daylight that smartphone is capable to take some really good shots but at little bit low light that smartphone is completely failed to take some good shots. Video recording is also very average. All in all that smartphone is very well built and good looking and nice performance under the price tag of 5000 rupees only. So definitely that smartphone deserves a pick. Don't forget to like share and subscribe for future updates. Please visit techpunjabi.in for your daily tech dose. And now I will talk to you guys in the next one. Jai